The Eli and Edith Road Art Museum is one of the first Zaha Hadid designed buildings in North America. She's a Pritzker Prize winning architect, which we like to say is kind of the Nobel Prize of architecture. The glass in this museum is some of the largest glass that has been installed in the United States. It had to meet a tolerance of two millimeters. That means the size of the tip of a brand new crayon. The main challenges in this project were the complexity of the glass makeup that was specified, the size of the units, the number of parties that were involved in the execution of the project. The Guardian glass was produced in our Luxembourg facility out of Europe, which coats twice the size we do here in North America. So if something's not available, we can absolutely work with one of our other facilities throughout the world to make sure we achieve the design intent of the architect. The glass that's on the building includes four lights of glass, two air spaces that are filled with argon for thermal insulation. You've got a low E coating, which helps block the solar heat to the outside, but also helps keep some of the heat in. You've got silk screen dots. That helps deflect some of the glare, makes it easier for the visitors to the museum to see the artwork that's here. The light in this museum is really awe-inspiring. From the outside of the museum, it's full of steel and you can't even really see the windows, but when you walk inside, you're really uh, amazed by how light-filled and airy the space can be. The impact that the art museum has had on Michigan State University really is global recognition. It's the destination. Guardian's a great company to work on a project like this. We're there from beginning to end. So we start the project from when it's just a sketch on a piece of paper, and we work with the architecture firm all the way through to actual construction. Not only has glass become more and more popular, but the technology behind glass has helped the architects design with more of it. When the museum first arrived, people were pretty surprised at how different it was from the rest of the campus. Like, the Eiffel Tower in Paris or the Guggenheim in New York. It's very surprising, it goes against the grain, it pushes boundaries, and after a while it becomes part of the community. And that's what contemporary art is supposed to do, and that's what this building does.